All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on some TPMS sensors. Um, you just had new ones installed, and so we're going to calibrate. So to do this, uh, we're using the Autel TS-508 with the OBD uh, connector already attached. What we want to do is we want to go to Active, Advanced Mode, and then we hit the Enter, and then we got to first find this vehicle. This is a Kia. Let's go up here, just like that. There we go. And then this is a K900. Let's hope it's listed here. I think K K9. It's this is a K900, right? Yep. Yeah. So here we go. Let's see if there's another one after. Nope. Okay. And then um, he had some Altel sensors installed, so hopefully it should be fine on dual frequency. Um, when was this made? 2015. 2015. So we'll take the 2014 to 2018 model. All right, and then we're gonna program sensor, or we're gonna position reload, relearn. Okay. So, and uh, let's go from there and see what happens. Okay. And we're gonna do an OBD learn. So we put it. Oh, we're gonna put it back into the computer. So we're gonna go around the car now, and we're gonna go around the car, and we're going to hit each car. It says to start on the left front, so that's where we'll start. Alright, so we're at the left front. We go to the sensor and hit the Wi-Fi key right there. The, 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 and it should, it should... Let's see what happens. We might have to program the sensors first. Because it's not receiving any data. So let's go to that first. Alright, so that, that last relearn on that was a fail. So on this vehicle, I got the Kia working, but to do it, we did a uh, we did the position relearn. Okay. And we did an OBD relearn. And then and then what happens is that this is uh oopsie I, w I went the wrong way i get program sensor and then we want to do copy by obd okay so by doing that we're going to pull the obd uh from the computer and then we're going to uh, learn uh, each of the sensor locations by location and so this is the this is the data that i pulled so basically uh, what you do is is basically we're, we're gonna you're gonna hit the copy and then you're gonna go to the left front and then you're gonna hit the program and it will program the left front right uh, right front right rear left rear and you just go around I don't have a spare uh, and then the other car the uh, the Kia 900 didn't have a spare either the only catch was that since the tire was already mounted we had to actually uh, uh, raise the vehicle and take the pressure out of the tires to less than 10 psi, and then each uh, all of the uh, sensors would uh, would program. And after that, um, the main TPMS light went out on his car. He drove it probably for about 10 miles, and then all the lights and the pressures equalized, and now he's good. But uh, yeah, lesson learned: program the sensors first before you have it installed into the tire and your life will be good but I'm just showing you that you can pull the data from the OBD port on the car and then you can just go from there so that's, that's what we did that's what I ended up doing in the end okay so again good tool to have uh, TS-508 it's been a lifesaver and has taken care of all of my TPMS issues so far um, and that's it alright guys take it easy and uh, lesson learned and uh, good luck up on your project bye now thank you for subscribing uh, thank you for watching another video.